My name is Lizzie Rockefeller, and I am doing a project about the lovely Sandra Boynton. This is a vlog-style video about her for my children's lit literature class at Southeast Community College. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you watch this video well, because at the end, there will be a quiz. If you're on my school site, it will be posted in the assignment description. And if you're on YouTube, it will be posted in the description as best as I can on both. In my class, when we got to choose which authors we may want to do, I chose, among others, I chose Sandra Boyton because it is my little kid that I help take care of. It's his, um, the author of his favorite book, which his favorite book is Happy Hippo Angry Dog by Sandra Boyden, who I'm doing this project over. Um, some of her other books include the Belly Button book. Her other books that I enjoy reading to the kiddos in my life are called Bonyard Dance, Moo Ba, La La La, and the Belly Button book, all again by Sandra Boyton. She is hilarious. Be Hippo, Angry Duck, A Book of Moods by Sandra Boyton. Hello, little person. How are you today? Is your mood quite terrific or only okay? Are you happy as a hippo or angry as a duck? Maybe sad as a chicken? Can you say cluck cluck? Are you grumpy as a moose or excited as a dog? Worried as a rabbit or contented as a frog? Oops. Perhaps like a pig, you are sweetly amused. Or perhaps like a cow, you're completely confused. You might feel that somehow you've lost all your fizz or you're frazzled, like a frazzled thing. I'm not sure what it is. Well, I hope you are happy, but if you are not, you have friends who will help you. We like you a lot. And a difficult mood is not here to stay. Everyone's moods will change day to day. Unless you're that duck. He's always this way. She is an author, a humorist, many other things. According to her website, SandraBoynton.com. Sandra Boynton's books are primarily for nursery age readers. But I feel like they could also be enjoyed by primary aged readers. And then on to adults. I don't know if in, I don't think intermediate to advanced readers would be that interested because of their own. Um, because the books are designed for the nursery age. But I think adults, like parents and educators reading to children, would find the books pretty entertaining themselves. Sandra Keith. Boynton was born on April 3rd, 1953 in Orange, New Jersey. She grew up the third of four girls and was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She went to kindergarten through 12th grade at a local Quaker school and then went for undergraduate at Yale where she studied English. She then transferred to UC Berkeley for graduate school, but then dropped out, transferred back to Yale, and dropped out again. I relate to her because I've had a similar experience off and on with college. and just Then she got married and had four kids. Um, over her lifetime, she has written and, and or designed um, over 4,000 cards, she says. Um, she also, in her humorous snarkiness, says... She never wanted to take the time. Somebody else has counted them for her. In addition, she has also um, written numerous children's books, which seems to be what she is mostly known for. But she's also written some young adult books. According to Sandra Boynton, her first non-children's book was called Chocolate, A Passion. And it was her first book for outside of the nursery aged reading level. She has also written and produced numerous songs including three albums that went gold and and she got a Grammy nomination for one of her songs.